All right, uh, hello everyone. My name is Comrade Samimi, and while I do a lot of graphic design professionally, most of the work I'm going to be showing is not really considered graphic design. Um, a lot of it is printmaking using non-digital techniques, but there's also some digital work in here. So this first piece was um, kind of an experiment in shape and color and form. So just layering different objects that I found and printing them in relief where you ink up a piece of wood or some object in this case and then run it through a press. So this is kind of experimenting with layering, density, uh, color, contrast. And layering is something I do in most of my work and building density through repetition. So this piece is called Babel and it's actually 26 separate buildings that I drew out and screen printed on top of one another to create one larger structure. So um, it's kind of based on the, this is the detail of it. So where the lines overlap, density is created and these are all hand drawn um, using this, the myth of Babel, the Tower of Babel as kind of a starting point. And that story is about language and the origin of different languages. So I wanted to kind of refine that idea down to 26 separate buildings, one for each letter in our alphabet. So it's kind of using letters as a building block to create something more. So these are different compositions using that same structure. Um, the, the previous piece was more, in my mind, more dystopic, uh, black and white with a black background, white ink. And these are more utopic to me. They're kind of, I see them as floating, um, kind of an idealized world. And that's a detail of some of the buildings where they interact. And these are all screen prints. So screen printing is using a, a screen as a matrix and you run ink through it. So it's kind of a stencil to pass ink to paper. This is my BFA piece. Um, I got my BFA three years ago from here in printmaking. So this is what I did as my piece. It was about this size and it was printed directly on the gallery wall. And if you notice, um, these are profiles of 16 people that are close to me in my life. Here's the detail. So it, it goes around 16 and it goes down 16 faces. So I kind of created a mandala or in a way it's kind of like a vortex of my social community, uh, the people that are important to me in some way. And this is printed directly on the wall. These are screen prints again, um, using geometric form. And uh, the way that I created these was in Adobe Illustrator actually, using the poly polygon tool. So I started with a three-sided polygon, then four-sided, five-sided, all the way up to 19. And then I fit them in one another and experimented with duplicating the image. This piece is um, kind of doing the same thing using images of different galaxies and creating a super cluster of them uh, by printing on top of one another. So it's kind of a, a way that I work is using small pieces and building them to create something more. So this is a digital piece um, using the idea of kind of in a way, it's sort of like a Big Bang or a cosmic egg that's giving birth to everything in its existence. So it's just, it's done in Photoshop and using a lot of layers, which is one thing I do in print as well as digital work. Uh, just kind of building density through layering. So the next few slides are a series that I completed earlier this year called Augmented Topography. and I. I made 11 pieces focusing on different locations around the world. And this is from Iran, where my dad was born. So it's an important place for my family. And it's uh, uh, satellite imagery of the topography. So using that imagery and 
kind of manipulating it in certain ways to create something new from a familiar place to me. This is a detail of that, that same image. So when uh, this process is used, to me it kind of unveils a spiritual energy that exists in that land to me. And that's something that I was really interested in exposing. So using those same Im images, I translated it to a screen print. So it's just pure black and white here. Um, it's hard to see because it's, it's very densely layered. But it's using the same a print and then a mirror image of that same thing. So there are only two images here, just printed repeatedly on top of itself in uh, transparent ink. And here's another from another print from that series. Um, this is the Bay Area, the San Francisco Bay Area. So if you're familiar with these places, you can kind of hopefully recognize. I mean, it's not important that it's easily recognizable, but if you have a connection to the place, I think that adds something to the piece. And this is of Honolulu. So you can kind of see this is Waikiki Beach. And UH is like right up there in that corner. And in the center, it's the ocean, and it kind of creates a strong focal point or balancing. And this is Brooklyn, New York, where I lived after I graduated my, with my BFA. So I lived there for about a year and a half, and learned a lot, it was a great experience, but ultimately I ended up coming back to go back to school. Um, and this is Volcano on the Big Island. So I decided to do a different format, doing it horizontally instead of vertically. But you can see kind of the lava flow and then the ocean. And I do enhance the colors, but I don't, um, I don't do artificial coloring of these. So where there's green, I'll bring out the green and the blue or, or so on. This is uh, from a show. These were exhibited at Manifest downtown. So this is kind of all 11 pieces. And they're all 24 by 36. They kind of function as mandalas or, um, to me anyway, I mean, one thing that's fun is when people look at them, they kind of see what they want to see, see what's, whatever is in their subconscious, it sort of manifests itself in there. So this is my most recent work. Um, it was in the Commons Gallery. I don't know if any of you guys saw it. Um, but it's called Elam, and it's focusing on uh, the connection between macrocosmic and microcosmic space. And the, image, the images that I used here were actually all taken from a slide of pond water, which to me represented the primordial stew that you know, life first emerged from. And kind of using that idea and extrapolating it to become the larger universe. So here's another view of it from the side. And it wasn't intentional, but I just really liked the way that the light interacted with this. This is archival pigment printed on transparency film. And, um, so when the light hits it, it kind of makes these really interesting layer, uh, which is, again, something I really like to do is layering, creating density.